This is a cl clinical scenario of thalassemia trait. Miss XYZ, a bride to be, is diagnosed with thalassemia trait. But she, along with her parents, turns deaf ear to the advice by doctors about checking of thalassemia trait in her husband to be, due to the social stigma attached with thalassemia. One and a half years later, she presents with a baby who is diagnosed as a case of thalassemia major. During her next pregnancy, chorionic villus sampling reveals heterozygous mutation for beta thalassemia. So let's answer these questions one by one. The test on the basis of which thalassemia trait is diagnosed is hemoglobin A2 levels greater than 3%. The uh, hemoglobin A2 can be determined by HP electrophoresis, HPLC or capillary electrophoresis. Her husband should have been tested for thalassemia trait by estimation of hemoglobin A2. Since she is a carrier of the trait, hemoglobin A2 is likely to be traced in her. She should avoid iron because not only it cannot correct her defect, iron is toxic in excess amounts. She may be prescribed folic acid. Sample obtained after chorionic villus sampling is tested for mutations using PCR. Hemoglobin F is raised in thalassemia minor. Its normal levels are sorry, hemoglobin F is raised in thalassemia major. Its normal levels are less than 2%. Since beta thalassemia is autosomal recessive, heterozygous mutation suggests carrier state. Patient should be reassured and advised to continue the pregnancy as the baby in question is only a carrier.